South Korea has unveiled a groundbreaking laser weapon system designed to neutralize North Korean drones, marking a significant leap in military defense technology. The laser-based anti-aircraft weapon Block Y promises to revolutionize air defense capabilities along the volatile Korean peninsula. According to the Defense Acquisition Program Administration, this cutting-edge system represents a critical response to escalating drone threats from North Korea. The weapon, nicknamed Skylight, or Cheongwang, is a stationary 20-kilowatt fiber laser system capable of destroying small unmanned aerial vehicles within a 2 to 3 kilometer range. Developed by Hanwha Aerospace in collaboration with the Agency for Defense Development, the system has demonstrated remarkable precision during live fire tests, achieving a perfect 100% success rate against its intended targets. What makes this weapon truly extraordinary is its incredible cost-effectiveness. Each laser shot costs approximately 2,000 South Korean won, equivalent to just one Dalmvorn 45, making it an economically viable defense solution. The system operates silently and remains invisible to the human eye, providing a significant tactical advantage in potential conflict scenarios. The deployment comes in direct response to a series of provocative drone incursions by North Korea. In December 2022, five North Korean drones penetrated South Korean airspace, with one reaching as far as Seoul, exposing critical vulnerabilities in the nation's air defense system. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has since vowed to increase unmanned combat equipment production, escalating tensions in the region. Lee Sang-yoon, a DAPA official, confirmed the system will be operationally deployed this year, stating it will significantly enhance South Korea's ability to respond to drone provocations. The weapon represents more than just a technological achievement, it's a strategic response to growing regional tensions. Experts have noted some potential limitations. Lee Ilwu from the Korea Defense Network suggests that while innovative, the system's effectiveness might be constrained by existing anti-air radar capabilities. Some defense analysts believe high-power microwave weapons could potentially offer more comprehensive drone defense. The weapons development comes with a substantial investment of 100 billion South Korean won, approximately 72.5 million US dollars. Production began in July 2024, signaling South Korea's commitment to developing advanced military technologies. The system's deployment makes South Korea the first country to operationalize this specific type of laser weapon system. Future development plans include potentially creating more advanced laser weapons capable of intercepting ballistic missiles. While the current system remains stationary, military planners are exploring possibilities for mobile platforms. This suggests the technology could evolve rapidly in the coming years. The geopolitical implications are profound. North Korea has repeatedly threatened retaliation for perceived sovereignty violations, creating a complex and volatile security environment. This laser weapon system represents not just a technological solution, but a strategic deterrent against potential aerial threats. By introducing this advanced defensive technology, South Korea has demonstrated its technological prowess and commitment to national security. The laser-based anti-aircraft weapon Block 1 stands as a testament to innovation in modern military defense, potentially reshaping how nations approach aerial threat mitigation. As tensions continue to simmer on the Korean peninsula, this laser weapon system offers a precise, cost-effective, and technologically sophisticated response to emerging security challenges. It signals South Korea's preparedness and technological sophistication in an increasingly complex global defense landscape.